Thank you, sir. Give me opportunity to participate in this Ministry of Ports and Shipping and Waterways Demand Scans 2022-23. Sir, I would like to limit my speech on the matters pertaining to development of inland waterways and issues related to the same due to the shortage of time. Mr. Chairman, sir, in India, only 3.5% of domestic surface transport is accounted by the inland water transport, even though India has abundant navigable waterways comprising of rivers, canals, backwaters, creeks, lagoons, etc. My state, Kerala, and my Lok Sabha constituency, Mahavilikir in particular, has immense potential for complementing uh, uh, the PM Gedi Shakti master plan and to contribute the overall growth of inland water transport for commercial and passenger transport, etc. Kerala state has a network of inland waterways and navigable canals extending over the length of 1,680 kilometers. West Coast Canal, the main air arterial waterway route 558 kilometers long used to be the primary navigation route until a few decades ago. So till 2016, only five waterways were declared. In na National Waterways in April 2016, Government of India has declared another 106 waterways, 106 waterways spreading all over the country as national waterways, which include three more waterways in Kerala. A 2% growth in GDP is anticipated with the development of these waterways. Sir, I would like to add the government needs to think beyond the declared waterways. In the case of Kerala, if it is serious about making the inland water transport as the alternative cargo and people movement in the state uh, with the possibility, sir. Sir, I would request that the government of India must make sub substantial investment in Kerala and declare waterways and feeder routes and sub-canals so that they can be developed to feed, comply, uh, feed and comply, uh, complement uh, the existing declared waterways efficiency. I would like to point out that uh, there are about 1,687 km land water transport road network in Kerala state consisting of national waterways, three from Kollam to Kottapuram, which is maintained by Inland Water uh, Authority of India, and other feeder canals maintained by the coastal shipping and inland navigation department, state irrigation department. I would remind the, uh, that cargo transportation through mechanized barges existing national waterways three, but also most of the feeder canals and waterways are facing difficulties arising from inadequate modernization, causing shallow depth and narrow width of the waterways. Issue arising from excessive sil uh, siltation, bank erosion, absence of infrastructural facilities like jetties, terminals, and inadequacy of navigational aid are also challenge faced in the rivers and tributaries that uh, flow in the state as well as, as through my Lok Sabha constituency. Sir, uh, sir, there are major rivers such as Pamba, Achangovi, Manimela, Meenachal, Mwatubira, rivers discharged into Vembana Lake. Uh, and flow into Arabian Sea, as well as Ashtamudi Lake in the Kalada River, uh, its inlet channel and Shastangota Lake, a Ramsar site, a larger freshwater body that passed through my constituency, Maveri Kera, and play a significant role in the lives of the people and the uh, welfare. I would invite your attention through you, I, will, I would invite attention of Honorable Minister through you, sir. The following matters pertaining my constituency seek your earnest support and assistance in resolving the same. Kutanad Taluk, a unique below sea mean, below sea level location with a population of 1,93,700 uh, uh, spread in 14 villages. That is replete with the backwaters in the dire need of infrastructural augmentation and assisted development. Sir, uh, the, towards this purpose, I am concluding, sir. Last, last point. Uh, towards this purpose, I would request you to formulate a Kutanad Waterways Modernization Punarjani Package with allocation of 500 crores with a view of achieving comprehensive restoration, reconstruction of river banks, concession of the culverts to, e uh, to ease movement of uh, people residing in the banks and full-fledged exercise and deepening river beds and tributaries must be carried out. Also, I would uh, bring the attention of the fact that the local inland water fishermen who engage the fishing in these water bodies are 
facing several challenges, these fishermen also uh, get a benefit. Thank With you. these words, sir, I am very, 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 very thankful to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.